the meaning of the word Islam. Islam comes from the Arabic word Salam, which means peace. It is also derived from Silm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. So Islam, in short, means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. And this word occurs in the glorious Quran and several authentic ahadith of the Prophet. It's mentioned in several places in the Quran, including Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, and Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85. The word Muslim means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. And this too occurs several times in the authentic hadith and several places in the glorious Quran, including Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 64. There's a misconception that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years back and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on the earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of the religion of Islam, but he is the last and final messenger of Almighty God. What's in Islam? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, Allah says, when he called it Ajil in Kitab, in every age have we revealed a book. Almighty God has sent several revelations, but the last and final revelation is the glorious Quran, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And all the revelations, the previous revelations before the Quran, was sent only for a particular group of people and was supposed to be followed till a particular time period. But the last and final revelation of the glorious Quran was not revealed only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was revealed for the whole of humankind. As is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse 52, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, as well as in Surah Azumur, chapter 39, verse number 41, that the Quran has been revealed for the whole of humankind. This is the most sacred amongst the scriptures of Islam. Number one, it is the word of Almighty God. And supplementary to the glorious Quran, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the authentic sayings, the say ahadith of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The authentic ahadith will never contradict the Quran. There will never be a conflict between the authentic Sahih Hadith and the glorious Quran. These two are the sacred scriptures, books in Islam, except of messengers in Islam. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24, wa min illa nazid. There is not a nation or a tribe without a warner having lived among them in the past. Allah says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 7, when he called me hard, and to every nation have we sent a honor. There are several messengers sent on the face of the earth. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it's mentioned in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the seal of the prophets. And Allah is all knowing, full of knowledge. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, unlike the previous messengers who were sent only for their people, and the message was meant to be followed in totality only for a particular time period. Since Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, Wama illa rahmat alil alameen, that we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Allah repeats the message in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28. Wama ka illa kafatan lil nas bashira wa nazira. That we have sent thee not but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. 
and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, chapter number 56, hadith number 429. The Prophet said that all the previous messengers that came before me, they were sent only for their people, for their nation. But I have been sent as the last and final messenger to the whole of humanity. In Islam, we don't agree that Almighty God has to come in this world and become a human being. This philosophy of Almighty God becoming a human being is called as anthropomorphism, which many religions believe in this philosophy that Almighty God became a human being, and they have a logic for that. What they say that Almighty God is so holy, He is so pure, He does not know the shortcomings of the human being. How does the human being feel when he's hurt? How do the human being feel when he's in trouble? How do the human being feel when he has got problems? So that's the reason Almighty became a human being so that he could set the rules, the do's and don'ts for the human beings. On the face of it, it sounds like good logic. Almighty God, so holy, so pure, he does not know the shortcomings of the human beings. Therefore, to set the rules, he became a human being. I'm asking a simple question. Let's suppose I manufacture a VCR, a video cassette recorder. Do I have to become a VCR, a video cassette recorder, to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR? If I manufacture a VCR, since I'm the manufacturer, since I'm the creator, I don't have to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR. What do I do? I write an instruction manual that if you want to play the video cassette, insert the cassette and press the play button. If you want to stop, you press the stop button. If you want to fast forward, press the FF button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get spoiled. Don't immerse it in water, it will get damaged. I write an instruction manual. I don't have to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR if I've created the VCR. Similarly, Almighty God, since he's the creator of the human beings, he doesn't have to become a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. What does he do? He chooses a man amongst men and communicates with them on a higher level who we call as messengers. And he reveals this instruction manual to guide the humankind. And the last and final instruction manual of Almighty God, it is the glorious Quran. The do's and don'ts for the human being is mentioned in the last and final instruction manual of the human beings, that is the glorious Quran. So the Islamic